If you had someone lived in a flat 2D world, right, they had no 3D, and you want to show them a cube, you could do that by just dropping the cube through their 2D world. And if you drop a cube through a 2D surface, it looks like a square. There it is. And so imagine there's someone living on this piece of paper, right? They live solely on that flat piece of paper. If you were to go, hey, check out this cube, and you drop a cube on them, right? <laughs> don't, don't, just maybe next to them, right? And they would see a square appear and then disappear. And they go, wow, that's so, so a cube looks a bit like a temporary square. And you're like, no, I can do better, I can do better. I'll tell you what, I'll drop it on its edge. So if you drop a cube on its edge, it changes size as it goes through, right? So a cube on its edge, the rectangle that gets bigger and then it's then smaller. So the rectangle goes in, the rectangle goes out. So now the 2D person, they wouldn't actually see all of this. They're only going to see this. So in fact, they would have no idea what's going on there. They would just see a rectangle come in and a rectangle go out. And from that, they're going to try and work out what the cube looks like. But it's quite difficult, right? Because all they're seeing is this weird thing appearing and disappearing. And what we're trying to say is that that's actually like a series of slices through the cube. I'm just showing you the cube a little bit at a time as it goes all the way through. We can do the same thing one dimension higher. Using maths, we can look at what would happen if a 4D cube from a higher dimension fell through our 3D world edge first. So I'm going to show you that video. Are you ready? So this is what a 4D cube looks like coming through our 3D world. And here it comes. All right, guys, and uh, anyway, it's a series of triangular prisms that maps out the hexagon and go. So if you're ever walking down the street one day and you see this appear and then disappear in front of you, someone is throwing 4D cubes at you. <laughs> <laughs> I recommend running. <laughs> uh, and, and, but there's other ways to drop them, actually. It's not just edge first, because you can drop 3D cubes corner first. Look at that. And it comes out, it goes, right? And so we can do the same thing one dimension higher. And again, you poor flat person, all they would see is this. They see a triangle come in and a triangle go out. The triangle maps out a hexagon, which is quite nice. In fact, if you look at a cube corner to corner, it forms a hexagon. Very cool. Right? And so all they would see is that. They would have no idea this is what's actually happening. 